I wonder where Tam Wise is going today. Oh yeah. Get ready, folks. Okay, there are adorable little kitties. They look like Tama leading me to the train track. And then little paw prints going up. I love it. Oh, I'm so excited. I love every little photo has little Tama cartoons in them. At least you know you're gonna get to the right place. Very easy to find. And the hike, it is real, folks. So you have to get an all day pass here. It's not part of your JR. So definitely worth it. Let's get going. So we've traveled about two hours to get to this tiny, tiny middle of nowhere town to get to the cat and station master. Here she is, Tama the second. The original Tama's passed away, sadly, in 2015, I believe. And there's a shrine outside in her honor. She's now a goddess of this train line, which I think is amazing. So I'll get some video of that for you guys. But you can come and visit. Make sure to check her working hours, though, because she does have set days that she works and does have time off, which is amazing. You can, they have these really awesome jackets, some little hats and some ears if you want to dress up and take photos, which I thought was awesome. Um, there's some memorabilia as well and a little museum. Lots of cute things about Tama and uh, the station. And then there's also a really nice little cafe we're about to go have some drinks that have little kitty ears on them. They do a cat dog uh, because it's fish sausage. Um, which is really interesting. If you don't like seafood, they don't really have anything else on the menu. There was a really nice older gentleman here who speaks a bit of English and actually walked us to go out the station, go to the right. It's two minutes down the road and we had a really nice chicken katsu with some curry and rice. Highly recommend. Um, but you'll notice that everyone in the town seems to have some Tama goodness because kind of the cat to save the town. There's nothing really going on here otherwise with this green tourist. Overall, I think it's worth it. It's pretty cool to see a station master who's a cat and visiting them here in their office. She's a little extra chunky and extra loved, I think, but gorgeous. So yeah, I'll um, get some good video and some really cool things around. soda. Oh, arigato kawaii. I swear this cat has better kit than a lot of people I've seen. These are just goods you can buy next door. They have all these like really cute travel posters with Tama. Hot chocolate is important. Oh, arigato! When Tama passed, uh, they actually set up the, the shrine for Tama 
and made her a goddess of the railways, which I think is pretty amazing. And I tend to normally only pray to the dice gods, but I feel Tama deserves a prayer. So I learned in a pamphlet elsewhere how to do this prayer. Um, you bow, you give your offering of money, you bow, you ring the bell, you bow, you clap, and you bow again. So hopefully I'll do it right. If it's wrong, I'm really sorry. I am trying, but it's not my culture. So I think giving a good effort to show respect is really important. So let's see that. Oh, at the cutest shrine I've ever seen. <laughs> gift shop. I bought many, many goodies. Little badges. This is so cute. And of course you can get stuff with either of the kitties on there. And then what's traditional in Japan is um, to get sweets or food to take home to friends, family, loved ones. So you'll find so many of these little boxed sets normally with sweets in them. I haven't seen too many savories but I'm sure they exist. Just be mindful if you're going back to Australia you can't take tea. I'm sure you know that but they do have some really cute little tea tins and that sort of thing. <laughs> 